Cheers, my lords! This is Blaster Brewmaster here, and welcome back to Long Live the Queen. We are at week 24 and still alive. It's kind of surprising to me. Uh, probably just because of the fact I've been trying to be very defensive about my training. So, let's see. Right now, conversation is at a boost. Um, so, social... Duh, 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 duh. A lot of these are actually at boost levels, so weapons would be good. Perhaps I should pick up some archery right now. It would be a good thing. Uh, question is, what would I need in conversation? Conversation's doing pretty good now. Maybe I'll do some extra flattery. Royal demeanor's down a bit. Hmm. I've got stuff here. I feel like maybe internal affairs actually would be... Or foreign intelligence, because I don't have much on the foreign intelligence side, so... Let's do foreign intelligence and archery. I think that's what we'll go with. So, weapons, archery, and intrigue, foreign intelligence. Let's see how all well this keeps us alive. Okay, you learn how to twist and wax bowstring from a variety of fibers. Oh wow, you're gonna make it yourself. Good. The current Duke of Sedna is 26 years old and unmarried. He might be considered a good marriage prospect for you if you desire stronger ties with the domain of Talassi. I don't remember which guy I was engaged to. You receive a letter from young Lord Adair. It's an extremely formal letter for such a little boy, thanking you for your, your wisdom and allowing him to live with his grandfather, who probably dictated every word he wrote. Yeah, well that's right, because last time I was trying to figure out who to pair him with uh, as far as his family, and that guy seemed like a better choice anyways. So, let's see, plus two yielding, plus two, one depressed and pressured, but lonely and afraid. Nude, let's see. Where am I with everything? So, anger, afraid, that's probably where I want to go, is afraid. So, lonely and afraid. Let's explore the castle, because I don't think I've done that in a while. You wander through the parts of the castle where other people rarely visit, but find little except spider webs. Yuck. Okay. So now, week 25. Where are we sitting with everything? Uh, first mood. So, anger is dropping a little bit. Now we're a little lonely. Oh, wait, hold on. Did not mean to do that. Okay. So, weapons, I say we stick with this. Let's keep working on this, I guess. I wonder what ciphering is. I don't know what that is. So, archery and foreign intelligence, because we need a bits of both of those, I think. Archery, foreign intelligence. So, we're done. Okay. You learn to cut, fletch, and tie arrows. Oh wow, we got a good boost on this, I think. You will learn about the different styles and sizes of bows. Long, short, and recurve. You will learn about caring for your bow. How to store it between uses, string and unstring, and check for damage or wear. You also learn that you should never fire a bow without an arrow on the string. The question I've got is, we haven't even used it yet, as far as I could tell. I've unlocked a new outfit. Hopefully it's badass battle, princess. That's what I would want. The domain of Shanjia, across the sea to the west, has been steadily increasing in size and now controls a wide range of coastline as well as most of the navigable rivers. Hmm. Okay. Logistics and trade failed already. I didn't even do anything. Staring up in the sky out your window, you notice a strange flash of light. Falling star. Divination failed. Yay. Pretty. Now it's like, now the gods are fucking pissed at you because you are not going and getting, like, any sort of stuff in that. So, I think right now, cheerful, okay, so cheerful is up. Uh, we need to make her afraid and depressed. Which I think is what this does. No, nope, only afraid. Depressed and afraid. Okay, we'll go with that. Depressed, afraid, you pay your respects to your mother's tomb and wonder if the same fate is waiting for you. Well, I'm trying to avoid that for you. Now you look sad. Uh, that's just great. Oh, let's check the outfit. Tea dress, okay, that's what I've got. Yep, tabard. Boost weapons, is that the bell? Shit, yeah, that's battle princess! But that boosts the weapons. Okay, so... Pretty good with this already right now. Um... Let's see here. 
think I'll stick with this. Question is. So, hmm. Medicine could use a bit of a boost, especially since right now we're really, you know, gonna get a boost from that. I say we stick with weapons and medicine. Okay. <clears throat> ah, my throat's dying. So weapons, I say we switch to swords, medicine. Uh, where is I with medicine? So... Herbs, battlefield, poison. Let's do poison, I think. Because that's where... Most likely to be screwed over, if we're not careful with that. Okay. You practice moving with a blade, sidestepping, charging, and lunging. You practice using your blade to disarm opponents or shove them backwards. Bitchin'. If a victim is stabbed with the poison spine of a sea urchin, the spine must be removed carefully and affected area soaked in very hot water in order to cook out the poison. Poison. Huh. Are sea urchins poisonous? I only know them as, like, the, uh... That's... Because that's a spiny one. That's what they have sushi for. Oh, wait, hold on. There we go. Okay. It is possible to become immune to the venom of a particular snake by routinely ingesting very small amounts. However, this protection is temporary and will not provide any help against other snakes. Interesting. You've unlocked a new outfit. That's gonna be an interesting one. Alice. Milady, there is a letter for you. Who sent this? It isn't signed. It appears to be a poem describing you in a manner that is entirely inappropriate for a queen. I'm intrigued. I... what? With a squid? Did we just turn this into a hentai? Let's keep going! Uh... uh... oh god. Of course I would go with that's hilarious. But that's gonna be terrible manners. That's terrible. Uh, uh. Plus one angry. Okay, who writes this garbage? I know a few people that does. Just then, an incredibly unlucky breeze swirls between the window of your tower bedroom, tugging the paper out of your hand and off into the sky. You stick your head out the window to discover the poem caught and fluttering on the roof nearby. You can almost reach it. I don't like where this is going. Uh, I don't know where my... <sighs> Fuck it. Ignore it. Ignore it. What's the worst that can happen? It blows and someone reads it and laughs at you? That's better than breaking your neck. Yes. Because I don't know that my... Skills and agility are going to be enough for that. Besides, if you're lucky, with it will rain and wash the words away. That's all I can hope for, because that's gonna probably... Come and bite me in the ass later on. Because this game type tends to like to do that, and I don't exactly want to risk that. So, pressured versus lonely, angry versus afraid. But anger is back up. Let's go with pressured. Plus two yielding, plus one depressed, and plus one pressured. Taking out of the court session is not fun at all, but it pleases your father and may be important to your future. Okay, so, new outfit. Let's see, nurse's gown, boosts medicine. Okay. Interesting. Uh, boosts conversation. So, I'm getting improvements in everything here. So, let's see where I am with my skills. Uh, probably should improve my flattery this time around. Weapons is down, that's kind of what I expected. I might want to do some faith stuff. Because I think I've... Uh, kind of want herb medicine. Um, hmm. Moving history, world history. Okay, so I'm thinking flattery and I'm thinking divination. That's what I think we'll do this time. So, faith... 
divination, uh, conversation, flattery. And let's hope that this next time it's not gonna bite me in the ass about the poem. Cause you know it's probably gonna happen. Jesus. Visual elements are best to flatter on the first meeting. They are expected to be noticed right away. If you've spent more time with someone, suddenly compl complimenting their attire will ring false. You learn that the gods cannot be forced to divulge information about the future, and that the most powerful omens are those which arrive unexpectedly. <laughs> Alright, so where's the poem? There you go. My lady, there are letters for you. Oh dear god. Another letter from Brioni? Why does she keep writing me? We were never even friends. She says she's bored and lonely and she's looking forward to seeing me at Gwinnell's birthday party. That's right. Gwinnell is about to turn 15. She'll be Duchess of Sudbury for real now. The Sudbury letter must be my invitation to her birthday celebration next week. Gwinnell and I were friends at school, and this will be a big event, but it's also a long way to travel. A lot of things can happen on the road. Alright, well I better... Divination... Oh, so come on. That was working on there. Mm. I feel like I'm expected to. I don't like the idea of being sheltered. This could end up being a bad choice, but I'm gonna go with it. Plus one cheerful. It'll be good to see my friends. Okay, so I need to add some willfulness back into this, so let's sneak out. Plus one lonely, plus two willfulness. You sneak out to the castle to have a little fun. You enjoy your freedom, but your father won't like it if he finds out. Okay, so we've got one more week to kind of do something to prepare myself. Uh, let's add more to my outfit. Or let's switch over to weapons again. Uh, okay, so now I should get an even bigger boost to weapons. So, hmm, question is should I go with polearm? Because polearm's a bit weaker. Archery is just slightly stronger than that, so it's like, I don't know. I'm thinking I'm going to go with polearm, and I probably should just do some military. I don't know. Let's go with strategy. So, yeah, we're gonna do weapons, we're gonna do swords, no, pole arms, and strategy under military. Okay, weapons, pole arms, military strategy. Okay. You practice standard attacking and sweeping with a long staff. You practice sparring with a partner using a staff. Okay, so now this is almost 60, that's pretty good. Afternoon, you learn about how units reinforce each other in the field, gaining strength through proximity and the covering of weakness. You study the effects of different kinds of battle terrain for both offense and defense. You may now tour the barracks on the weekends. Your skill and strategy is now 50. You may not increase this until other military skills are 25 or higher. Okay. Uh-huh. I thought so. So it's a good thing I've got weapons. On your journey to Sudbury, your carriage is attacked by bandits. I thought this was going to be a problem. Archery and reflexes failed, really? You look down in shock at the arrow which has buried itself in your side. Outside you can hear screams and curses, but it feels unreal. Your world is centered around pain. Battlefield medicine failed! I've got high level on that! You struggle with the arrow, afraid to pull it loose. You hear a story somewhere about pushing arrows through the body, so you brace yourself and give it a shove. Unfortunately, this only drives the arrow deeper into your vital organs, turning a painful wound into a fatal one. So this is the end for her. Aha! Uh -huh. I had the feeling that this might be the case, but Jesus, that was what I was trying to prepare for. I could have swore. Uh, I probably should have done battlefield ma uh, medicine then. But why archery? Of course, archery would be kind of good in this sort of case. Ah, so that's the end of this run for... For long live the queen. Apparently the queen didn't live that long. Yay! Aldi did not survive to reach her coronation. Nova would have gone, would have to go on without her. But it doesn't have to end this way. Make different choices, train different skills, and Elodie's star may rise again. 
So we will probably do that another day. This was one of those things where I was like, oh boy, this is going to happen, isn't it? And yes, it did. So thank you for going ahead and joining me here today on this video. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a like, a comment, to subscribe, whatever you feel like it. Always like to hear from you, so let me hear from you. In the meantime, raise your mug in the air and have another cup of coffee on me. Love and peace. How many weeks did I get, anyways? Is that like 29, 30? That's pretty good. <laughs> Man, you're hey, Blaster, a dick. Do you have a Do you have a beat that, that we can? Do you have a bass that we can drop? <laughs> Actually, that's kind of really shitty. I'm not even trying that. Man. Drop bombs. You drop. Damn right, dude. Drop bombs. I want to hear that on mixtape. <laughs> <laughs> I can just see you like shaking your face back. Right, I'm just, I'm just like, oh, you'll see it later on. Or alternatively, you just keep saying boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and. Yeah, boots and cats. I thought. Wait, wait, isn't it like Nicki Minaj? I was like.